thin and quiet to evaluate your result. So there is a format like this in your journal. It's called CRE score. In this CRE, they run through alignment, rotation, marginal reach, macrolingo, or crucial contact, or crucial relationship in the crucial contact, something like that. And in this case, those represent how many points you lost. If you lost over 30 points, that is not a very good result. But in this case, from the alignment, we lost seven. Marginal risk, 12. And of course, our content, we lost 12. And we come up with 37. That's not, that is not considered a very good result. But you have to adjust for how difficult we start with. If we start with a very difficult situation, this is actually reason for result. So, among the 37, we lost 23 points just in the second model alone. Only the second model, we lost 23 points. And I wish I would tell you later on why we lost so many points in the second model. So, we go ahead and we have the other pin and white is set and show you the proportion of your tools and the perceived proportion from central, lateral, and canine. Also, we will evaluate the gingival margin, gingival contour, and the texture of your gingival. And we consider that is the mainstream for today. People always want to have a beautiful pink and white is setting. So we add this table. So is this result good enough to present it? And let me go back to this table. In our association, we come up with a table called DICRE comparative table. What that means is if you have DI from 10 to 90, which consider a normal, not too difficult. So your CRE is supposed to under 26. But when you have a case is 30 to 39, it's considered very difficult. You will be allowed to lose 20, 34 points. Once you get into a very difficult, like 71 in this case, you will allow to lose 38. So in this case, we lost 37, still considered a war standard for this case. So that is the table show you if you have a case, you need to know how difficult that case. And when you get the job done, you need to evaluate if your result is considered acceptable for this association. And again, Dr. Park will come up with something, some material for implantology. I'm pretty sure you have a lot of time. Okay, <laughs> they will come up with something. Dr. Kim, that's your job. I know you have nothing to do. <laughs> and in orthodontic, finally, we have one piece of information that is required. That is cephalometric. In the cephalometric, we have the whole profile, which is superimposed right here. The red consider the post-treatment, black consider the pre-treatment, and we also evaluate the upper, the mesna. We superimpose in the part, so we can see how we move the model and incisor. In the law, we superimpose in the inner surface of the symphysis. So we perfectly understand how much, how much we move the incisor and how we tip, up, tip back the mold. So this is a requirement for the also case, but not required for implant case.
because the ball was about it. We always want to know the, the difference between pre-treatment and post-treatment. And I think for the self-formation, it is a good tool to evaluate. So in this case, we be able to see that the profile change. Also, the door incisor the move back a lot. And here, we not only move back the incisor, we also extrude it. That's why we correct the open bar and also the negative close bar. So that's the way I will present my case. So we start with step number one, pretreatment, diagnosis and treatment plan, and post-treatment data. In this area, we evaluate with CIE and PIN and YE setting. So when we evaluate our result, and finally, we come up, we summarize the treatment tip so the audience can learn from your case. Otherwise, there is no point. People want to sit there. People want to sit in the lecture room simply because they want to learn something they can use tomorrow. Not to see how good Dr. Park is. No. They will you know you are so good. You are much better than Park Jr. We understand. So you will become <laughs> rising <laughs> star. <laughs> so the next step, I want to show you how we did it. And I will summarize some tips so you can learn and you can apply tomorrow. And it apply to the invitology. You always want to summarize how do you get this good result. So people can take coin and apply tomorrow. So in this, I will show you how I can correct this negative overjet within 22 months. And I want to point out the tip actually is I put two mini school in this area. And it's outside the dentition. So I'd be able to move the whole dentition backward without any surgery. So that's the tip. So let's go ahead and I will show you step by step from the day not zero. We put the braces, nine months, we be able to lie up the tooth and we put a mini screw right here. So we connect the power chain. So they have a force to dry the whole dentition backward. And 12 months, three months later, look at that overjet already become H to A. So every month we show you the serious picture. So people can follow how you solve the problem. They can read your picture and they can react. Read and react actually is the effective way to learn dentistry. So you always wanted to show people the sequence picture. So here, we already become one millimeter over jet, and we also correct the by. And finally, we want to Set, settle the occlusion. And from here, you also see that they have a power chain retract the door. And also, we hook up the class 3 mechanic elastic right here. So 22 months, we'll be able to produce a result like this. So, to conclude this case, without Barco share school, it will be very difficult to solve this problem. So what makes this case so important to them? We learn from that. If the profile is good, put a mini school in the buckle shear. You'll be able to disallow seven millimeters backward, the whole dentition. So come, come back to the set. You will see big negative overjet. And five, four months later, it becomes normal. <clears throat> and finally, 20 months, we almost done. And the profile changed a lot. So, part journey, 
What's the secret weapon for this case? The school. You don't screw up this case. You put a school, you'll be able to solve the problem. So school is important. And we are so lucky. Dr. Park agreed to produce this mini school. So Mega Gym will have this school in very near future. So use Mega Gym school. You'll be able to solve all the problems. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and for the orthodontic, we always wanted to know what is the mechanic to move the whole dentition backward. Mechanic is very important. Especially people who train from Indiana University. Indiana University is considered the origin of biomechanics in orthodontics. All the big guy is from Indiana for the mechanic. So I want to use this set to show you the final piece of me message. Is I draw Dr. Park. This is a beautiful draw. From the set, we come up with straw to show you how we solve the mechanic. So day zero, we put the braces. We have 11 millimeter discrepancy in the border. So we line up, in nine months, we put a mini school. We connect the power chain to mini school to the camera. In 12 months, become age to age. In 14 months, and 20 months, we almost done. And finally, we want to settle the occlusion. But unfortunately, this guy needed to go back to Malaysia. So I don't have the time <coughs> to finish this case. That's why we end up with a lot of, we lost a lot of points in this final occlusion. So 22 months, that's the last day I saw this case. So we debunded. And how do you settle the posterior segment? So I want to show you some tips so you can learn from this case. When you dislocate it, you will end up with posterior open bar. So how do you correct this posterior open bar? The key is to section the wire, to <coughs> cut the wire. So leave the posterior segment as a free body. Once, you become, once they become free body, we hook up the elastic. The one I use is 3.5 ounce. 